For us, in order to survive, we had to fly at very low level, and that was anything from 20 to 50 feet, depending on the nature of the terrain. And this was done to uh, dodge the radar systems and also to um, get the surprise on our side. The enemy aircraft that we encountered were basically MiG-21s, uh, MiG-23s and uh, Su-22s was the other type that we encountered. So we didn't lose any aircraft in combat, whereas the enemy uh, lost two MiG-21s and uh, there was unconfirmed reports of other aircraft lost by them as well. To bolster their forces, South Africa's Air Force decided to improve their older Mirage 3s. The result? A modernized variant called the Cheetah. We decided to update our old Mirage 3 fleet with uh, new avionics, a new sighting system and a nav weapon system. As far as combat is concerned, uh, the changes in the, uh, the Cheetah compared to the Mirage 3, uh, it made the aircraft uh, a little bit more maneuverable. Team 90s, the French wanted a next generation fighter jet. They found it in the stealthy Rafale. The Rafale began development in the early 1980s as a technology test platform. The Rafale A tested the flight envelope possible with new fly-by-wire controls. Two other key attributes were also explored, super cruise and stealth. Conventional jet fighters attain their high speeds by igniting their afterburners. But they pay a high price. Heavy fuel consumption, which reduces the aircraft's combat range. New jet engines and a new airframe design promise supersonic flight without the use of afterburners. This is called Super Cruise. In 1991, the first product of this test program, the Rafal C, made its maiden flight. Though it shares the classic Delta design of the Mirage family, the Rafale has a sleek, blended body. Rafale is equipped with two Snecma M88 engines, enabling it to reach speeds of Mach 2 and an altitude of 55,000 feet. Rafale entered service with the French Navy in 1999, and the first Rafale Air Squadron will be based at saint dizier in 2006. With its Delta Canard configuration and ability to perform air superiority, interceptor, recon, and ground attack maneuvers on a single mission, the Rafale will carry on Dassault's tradition of aerodynamic excellence.